Welcome to the Florida Courts eFiling Portal and filing to an existing case. When you are filing to an existing case, there are two ways to access your case. If this is the first time you're filing to a case, you would access the case by using the eFiling map. If you have already filed electronically at least one document to the case, you may access that case from your My Filings case or your My Cases page. Let's take a look at filing to a case for the first time using the eFiling map. Select the county that you will be filing to by either selecting the name of the county in the map or select the name from the drop-down. Let's choose the name of the county from the map. Then you select Existing Case and file now. The portal will go to that case, to the case maintenance system within that case, county, and pull up your case information. So here we're going to go to Putnam County and pull up the case information page for an existing case in Putnam County. Select the case division that you will be filing to type in the year and the case number and do a search. At the top of your screen you will see the style of the case so that you can verify that you are filing to the correct case. Towards the bottom of the screen you can mark this filing as an emergency filing if it fits the requirements for an emergency filing and you can also enter in a matter number. A matter number that might be assigned to a client within your firm. So for tracking filings or submissions made on behalf of this filer, you would type in the matter number in this field in every submission you make on behalf of this client. Then you click on Next. Choose the party that you're filing on behalf of and click on Next. From the Add box underneath your document column, click Add and begin to type in the title of the document that you're going to file. We'll type in the word Summary since we're going to submit a motion for summary judgment and do a tab. This will give me all of the documents that have the word summary in their title that I have the ability to file in Putnam County. Here is my motion for summary judgment that I'm going to select. Then I type in the number of pages of my document and I choose file which allows me to browse out onto my computer to locate the document that I am going to submit with this submission. Once you highlight that document, verify the number of pages, make sure the document has the signature of the attorney filing the document, make sure it's being filed to the correct case number, and then click on Open. Once you have attached that document to this Add Edit Document page, click on Save. Once the file size appears, that document has completely uploaded and you know it's safe to move on to add additional documents. In this case, we will type in the word Appearance, do a tab. We're going to select our Notice of Appearance, type in the number of pages, browse out, find the document that we're going to add, select that document, attach it to the submission, and click on Save. Once you have completed adding your documents, make your confidentiality designation, and click on Next. Then you must make your e-service selection. Anyone that has filed electronically to the case will be added automatically to the case with their preferred e-service email addresses. 
Anyone that has been added as an other attorney or an interested party will also appear on the service list. If someone on the service list is not listed or if there is someone on the service list that is not listed, you may add a party by using the other attorney interested party link. You can search the active e-filing portal users by last name or by a bar number. Do a search. It pulls up that attorney. You may select that person. It validates the email addresses that are linked to that profile of that attorney and you may add it to the e-service list. You may also do a search of the Florida Bar by typing in the Florida Bar number doing a search. It will pull up the attorney using the Florida Bar email address they have provided. Select and add that person to the service list. The third way is to type in a person's name and an email address and do a save. Once you add a person to the e-service list, an email address will go out to that user at those email addresses advising them that they have been added to the e-service list and provide all of your contact information to them. It will also provide a link in the email that they receive that allows them to request removal. If they do not wish to be added to the service list, you can, they can request removal and at that time you would get a notification back from the person you added and you would simply go to this section of your service list and delete the party. Once you have added everyone to your service list, you would click on Next. No fees to file electronically only your statutory filing fees apply. Click on Review and Submit. This recaps the pages you have gone through so you will see who will be receiving service and who will not. You will also see the documents you're filing, any fees if there were a fee to be charged, and your payment method along with your filer information and then you would submit your documents. This will take you to your filing confirmation page. You can see here we've already received service of those documents in our email provider. It's pending review in Putnam County. The NEF that went out that provided service of those documents is there and visible for you on that My Filings page. And if you were to click on the flyout, you would see all of your filer information, including that matter number that we typed in, the documents that we submitted in this submission, as well as the service list. Now that we have filed at least once to this case, it will be added to our My Cases page. So the next time I want to file a document to this case, I can go to the My Cases page. I can do a search by party name. And there's my case already added to My Cases page. So I can then quickly use the File Now button, confirm that that is the case I wish to file to, and it takes me right to the case information page at the bottom of the page where I can mark this as an emergency or include a matter number if I wish to do so. So by filing to that case electronically the first time, you never have to type in or select the division, the year, or the sequence number if you access the case through your My Cases page. So now we would click on Next, 
choose the party we are filing on behalf of and add our documents that we wish to file. So type in an unusual name of your document title. I typed in exhibit here and there are no exhibits in Putnam County that I can choose to file from. So if you clear that and if you wish not to do a search you can also go by the document group. In this case the only group we have to choose from is all which is basically going to show you what you currently have listed here. So the best method would be to do your search. We'll do a demand for discovery. So you type in demand, no documents appear. So the documents are all selected by the counties and added to the list that you have the ability to file. So in this case, we'll select our motion. Since we couldn't find a document name, I'm going to choose a document that most closely resembles the document I'm going to file. Type in the number of pages and browse out. Find my motion. Make sure it's signed. It's being filed to the correct case. Click on open and attach it to my submission. Again, once the file size appears, you know you can go on and file or add additional documents. If this is all you need to file, make your confidentiality designation. Choose your e-service recipients. Click on Next. No fees to file electronically. Click on Next and submit your filing. Once we do a refresh on our filing confirmation page, you can see our case has been received and our email we have received in our email log and our email provider that Putnam County has received our one document that we just submitted. And now you can see it's pending review. The NEF is available, which provides service of that document, as well as the flyout that gives you all of your document information. And if we quickly jump over to our My Filings page, you'll see that if we want to pull up all of the submissions that we have made that relate to this matter number, we simply type in that matter number that we added to the case information page in both submissions, do a search, and it will pull up those cases that have that matter number listed. And you can verify that by looking at the flyout. So using a matter number that you have linked to a client in your law firm is one way of keeping track of submissions made on behalf of that client and recouping fees if there were any fees paid during any of these submissions. So filing to an existing case, either the e-filing map when you file to the case for the first time or my cases once you have already electronically filed to the case and you're filing follow-up documents by submitting or clicking on the File Now button.